I am Geoffrey Villardouin in the Roman campaign from the stainless steel titanium mod for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. We are in the year 1113 and we are now transported to the east where Constantinos Angelos had stumbled upon a large Turkish army. He retreated to Laodicea where he was joined by more Byzantine units under Eustathius Lampinos. Together, the two Byzantine generals march back up the Anatolian plateau, itching for a fight. Your will. As you will, my lord. We march to battle. Our enemy is still there. A full stack of Turks commanded by Captain Ebu Muzaffer. Both armies are well balanced, except that the Turks have no answer to the cataphract bodyguards of our two generals. To battle, Romans! The troops are assembled! Prepare for battle! We deploy on a hill, we were lucky to have the high ground from where our skirmishers torment the approaching Turkish infantry. In the meantime, our horse archers skirmish on the flanks, eventually turning away the enemy horse archers. According to legend, the Turks were very dispirited every time some of their own fought on the side of the Byzantines, as is happening in today's battle. So without a general to discipline them, the enemy cavalry quickly abandoned the field of battle, leaving their infantry unsupported. Our two generals then swung about, charged the enemy line in the rear, and a mass rout ensued, and with it, a titanic victory. The bodyguard of Constantinos Angelos alone took 500 prisoners. The prisoners were executed to prevent them from reinforcing the garrison of Iconium, and our army prepared to lay siege on Iconium. Eustathius Lampinos has gained in dread for disrespecting the prisoners and is also the man of the year. The mercy. They deserve none. Let us head back to the west where the Venetians have the goal to attack our empire and specifically Avalon that is defended by Captain Bardas. The Marshal of the Empire, Alexios Paleologos, arrives just in time with a relief force. We sally out and bring the battle to the unfortunate Venetians. To their credit, the Venetians have a nice army, they have some cavalry, and they do not run off as defenders often do, but send their light cavalry to charge our lines. Our infantry hold their ground, we lose a few border guards, but nothing too serious. Alexios Paleologos is now coming with reinforcements. By the way, the Venetian cavalry rides fabulous looking marker horses from uh, Rusici Total War. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. So while our infantry keeps the enemy cavalry occupied, Alexios Paleologos charges again and again the enemy infantry with his bodyguard. The enemy commander, Captain Paolo, is here engaged with our infantry. 
is charged or counteracted, that's the wrong unit to charge. Praise to our Lord! Our men have slain the enemy general! Now his men will lose heart! And it looks like he has been slain. He just went down, you might have just seen him. So Captain Paolo has been slain, he's fallen in the field of battle, he suffered a hero's death. And as a result of his death, his men begin to waver, more than waver, they start to flee the field of battle. Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. A titanic victory, proving to the Venetians that they are no match for the Romans. We have destroyed uh, their army. Our general is collecting prisoners. Glorious victory at the loss of only 153 men. Our general's bodyguard took 259, killed 259 of the enemy. We also took some prisoners. That we can pay. Yes, Lord. Think of the money to be made. Lord, we are victorious. The Venetians ransom their prisoners and return with their heads hanging down in shame, regretting they had not stayed at home minding their own business of selling carnival masks and overpriced trinkets to tourists. And before the year is out, our Lord Chancellor, the most honorable Nikiforus Rhenius, our Caesar, attacks his area. The Turks have a decent force, but Rhenius has with him the Imperial Guard, known also as the Scholai, which at this time consisted of a battalion of Byzantine nobles fighting usually on horse as cataphracts, a battalion of Varangians, and a battalion of superior missile units, exactly what Bryennius has in his entourage today. While the enemy archers are diverted, shooting at our militia, pushing the rank, our Varangians go up the walls using a siege tower. They quickly open the main gate. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Then charge the enemy archers on the wall to stop them from firing at our army. And now our army is free to enter Caesarea undisturbed. So here are those glorious Varangians fighting on the wall. The enemy archers are doomed. They are being literally chopped to pieces. And so here is the rest of the Imperial Guard, headed by our Caesar. These are the nobles, the uh, Scholai. So the Scholai had. Uh, Byzantine Christians, non-Byzantine Christians, and foreigners. The foreigners usually were archers, Cumans, Turks, and the like. And uh, here are the Byzantines, the Byzantine battalion of the Scholai, these nobles on horse. They are heading for the castle plaza, and they charge into the plaza on top of the cataphrag. Horses, 
Here's the enemy general. Perhaps you can see him near the front. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. The enemy here has only archers. A very bad decision to put them on the ground. And they are now running back into the castle plaza. Our missile units, these uh, Siphonatoris or Siphonatoris, are taking care of the enemy general. Our first causing problems for some of the enemy infantry and in ours is the turn of the enemy general. Our men have slain the Saracen general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. And the enemy general has been slain. The flamethrowers keep spewing fire. Bahadir Joban or Glu has been slain. And his bodyguard perishes in the flames of hell. The battlefield looks like a gigantic cauldron. Maybe that should have been a titanic cauldron. And our men are now celebrating. Caesarea is ours. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. And so the city named after the Caesar is conquered by a Caesar, Nikiforus Rhenius. We lost mostly militia to archer fire from the walls, our nobles killed about 200 of the enemy and the Siphonatoris killed another 100. We lost about 128 ourselves. As I said, mostly militia. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. Noble Lord, we have conquered. Caesarea is sacked. Relations with the Turks are abysmal, exactly what one might expect. And relations with Venice are poor, which serves them right for attacking us. Isaacius Comnenus, the younger brother of our Emperor Ioannis, is married to a young lady of noble breeding. And just as we had thought we had defeated the Norman invaders and sank a Norman fleet, a second Norman fleet appears in the horizon, carrying more Norman invaders. Only the dead have seen the end of Norman invasions. Thank you for watching.